Andrew Melton, H. Melton's son. We're standing here in a field uh, of sugar beet drilled the 19th of March. I'm Rachel and I'm the um, technical manager for Suffolk area with Bayer. And yeah, it's looking like a nice crop of sugar beet at the moment. It's popped up. It was relatively early drilled, but I think matched the season with what everyone else has been doing. Um, you know, we control, we're probably just starting to get on to thinking about that now. Yes, yeah, this, this field actually had a, a pre-em application with the um, with a liquid fertiliser, which we'd normally do generally every year just to give us some insurance early on. Um, and then obviously we had, luckily we had the moisture for, for emergence um, before we had the rains later on. So, uh, and then it's had a, it's had a, uh, its first post-emergence spray um, just about a week ago, actually. Yeah. Early weeds coming through. Yeah, and you said that was a Betanol tandem. Betanol tandem with a, with a, with a Metamitron addition. Yeah, very good, and that will you know keep it keep it clean for a bit longer, and we'll get that sequencing going. Um, in terms of sort of aphids that we're seeing around, I haven't seen too many yet. I know the BBRO were quite. Um, you said that they've moved their forecast recently, but it was a bit later forecast. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been looking the last um, two or three days because I've heard reports of finding aphids around the area. At present, uh, can't seem to find any in the crop, but it's one of those things where we just need to be vigilant and keep looking. Mm. Uh, quite, a, quite a lot really, just to keep on top. Yeah, and obviously where we're looking for um, aphids, we're generally looking on the underside of the leaf and down sort of in that crown where it's a bit cooler for them. Um, have you had any sort of thought on insecticide programmes going forward? Um, at the moment, sort of looking at um, obviously a, a two or a three sort of pronged attack, depends on the season. Obviously it's something we need to sort of change as we go along, but the first one will be uh, potentially uh, an insist yep. um, insecticide. That's, yeah, very good. This year we've got a new entrance in the sugar beet as well. So we have Savanto Prime, which is a, um, a group 4D. So a different subgroup to any of the other chemistries that we have out there. Uh, Insist is a group 4A. So generally where we're sequencing, especially looking at those two, potentially three spray programs, um, following, you know, IRAC resistance guidelines and everything, we'll be sequencing with something like a Topeki in the middle. Um, so you're right, either an insist first and have the Savante later on, or potentially moving it round. Our newer chemistry is looking quite good actually on, on a lot of our um, trials data from last year. With having some translaminar activity, we'll actually see um, feeding from the aphids and the chemical will go through the leaf to the base. Okay. So those aphids underside and sort of further towards the crown of the plant should still get into contact with it and ingest the insecticide. So we should have good control and you know um, good knockdown for seven eight days or so yeah well, it's good to have a new product in the armory because obviously it's something we need at the moment with the uh, with the current climate for uh, for virus uh, problems in, in sugar beet so looking at you know other systems we have in sugar beet there's obviously the conviso one system that we run and i think you've had a bit of experience with some of the other farms locally that yes one of the contracting farms we uh, were involved with uses conviso uh, system um, and obviously we get involved in the spraying and applications of, of products for, for, for that. Yeah. yeah, so with the stewardship we're getting to the time of year that actually Conviso applications might start going on. Yeah. We had a new label update this year so actually the applications go on from, bro um, from growth stage 10 which is really good you know once we start getting those tree leaves coming up. Um, the main things to note with when we're going out with the sprayer is to make note of which fields are Conviso and not. <laughs> it sounds obvious but yeah. actually making sure that your sprayer operator and um, or your farm software is up to date on which fields are which. If you're planning a day where you're going to be doing other herbicides, Conviso sugar beet is obviously ALS tolerant. So if you're planning to spray ALS chemistry, do that last. Any sensitive crops, so your more conventional varieties of sugar beet, go ahead with the herbicides on that first in the morning. Thoroughly box out your tank so we haven't got any residues of the ALS chemistry in there before heading on to your Conviso crops. 